Many prominent Cincinnati firms send high-level executives through day-long executive health programs. On the Business Courier front page centerpiece this week, we go in search of the question, how healthy is your C-suite? TriHealth launched its executive health program in 1998 at the request of Procter & Gamble, which still considers it an employee benefit. The cost can top $5,000, pricey but possibly minimal compared to the consequences of unhealthy leaders. A program that not only uh, addresses health, but also prevention, wellness, exercise, diet, um, choicefulness, making decisions that allow us to uh, do a better job of living a happy life. Business Courier reporter Barrett Brunsman took one for the team and underwent his own executive health examination. He joins us in the studio this morning with Business Courier editor Rob Dahmeyer. Hi guys. Hi there and Barrett thank you very much for being here. Barrett the Brave we should start calling you. Uh, so were there any surprises uh, in these exams and tests? Rob one of the things I learned is that I should be six feet tall which means I wouldn't have to look up to you anymore. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you read the story, I'll explain exactly why I'm not. And that's one of the things I learned here. So uh, there is fear involved. I mean, I, I personally would be scared to death to do this. Uh, but is that even a factor I mean, uh, in, this, in these tests? I personally had uh, some concerns uh, about heart health and cancer. I used to be a smoker. Uh, there's a history of uh, illness uh, related to those things in my family. One of the, the neat things about this program is that it's such a comprehensive battery of tests and examinations. You learn about what might be in store for you. And so what can you uh, actually expect to have happen? Like, uh, th it's a great story. It's a very honest story. But uh, just what are some of the things that you can actually see when you go through it? Well, I learned some shocking things about my own health. Uh, uh, there's some serious issues were raised that I have to address. It's a full day program. Uh, a slew of tests for blood uh, and physical exams as well. Uh, if you want to add a colonoscopy, which was the first time I'd ever done that, could add a half day and a little bit of cost, gets it up to the top end. Uh, one of the things I feared was going through this exam, which is vital to determine uh, about cancer, especially in men. And so it was a good thing I went through it, I think. Yeah, it certainly was. You can read more about that. What, um, last question for you. Uh, these tests have been around for a while. Uh, they, as Peg mentioned, they're very expensive. Um, but there's a reason they're expensive and the reason they're so valuable. How many, about how many people go through this every year in town? TriHealth alone has about 400 executives go through every year and these are people with some of the most prominent companies in our city. Uh, but several of the other health systems also offer similar tests. So uh, executives by nature are very competitive and one of the things they want to learn is how they're doing compared to everybody else in terms of staying healthy. In that way, that was one of the takeaways I, I got from your story, that, that this, this competitive idea. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Great story. My pleasure. Thanks. And back to you. All right. Thanks, Rob and Barrett the Brave. You can read the full story once again in this week's print edition.